For these swimmers in South Bristol, community pools are a lifeline. But I love this pool. It, it's almost like home. It's warm, it's local, most of us can walk here. So it's good for our physical health when we walk here. It's great for our mental health because it's meditation. It's like rebirth when you get in the water. Jubilee Pool is now owned by a community group after the council decided it couldn't afford to run it anymore. Jules Larming's their chair of trustees. When you're just looking at whether or not a pool should stay open or should close on a spreadsheet, you don't take into account the social value of a pool, the physical value of what it brings, the emotional value. But like so many pools, they're struggling to stay afloat. From the 1st of April, the government's introduced a new energy bills discount scheme for businesses. But pools like this and leisure centres don't qualify. And campaigners say the £63 million that was earmarked for them isn't enough. From our membership conversations that we've had in the past few weeks and months, really, we estimate that up to half of them are at risk of closures or service reduction in the next few months. And obviously, once that facility closes, um, that's a major risk economically, but also for the health and well-being of, of our communities. At Uckfield Leisure Centre in Kent, campaigners fear their pool could be one of the ones to go. We've heard the high energy costs are a real big issue, um, that's understandable. But what we're saying is we really need the government to step in with more help. What they've offered is a little bit too late. Uh, the legislators were crying out for help all the way back at the start of the uh, pandemic. Gold medal winning Olympic swimmer Duncan Goodhue says serious funding is needed. It's important uh, that the national government makes sure it's not a, a postcode lottery for, uh, for uh, learn to swim. Um, that, uh, you know, pools don't suddenly close unexpectedly and leaving, you know, children without the ability to learn how to swim. Since 2010, hundreds of pools have already shut for good, thanks to funding issues, management costs and COVID. But campaigners fear the current energy crisis could be the tipping point for hundreds more. Rachel Venables, Sky News.